welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do car truck SUV reviews on YouTube, and today we are in the new 2020 Audi S4, courtesy of Sun Motor Cars in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, needless to say, I am pretty darn excited to be in this one today for several reasons. First off, being this one has been completely redesigned for 2020, so it is a completely new look for this year. Also new infotainment screen I'm looking at right now. I remember reviewing this car in previous years. That is definitely all new. And to go along with that, there are just overall plenty of updates to the 2020 S4. So of course, I will be going over all of those for you in today's video, along with testing everything else out. So what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2020 Audi S4. First one being premium, starting at $49,900. Then you have the premium plus starting at $52,400. And lastly, the prestige starting at $58,350. And so regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plan on this one will be the same. Powering this beast is going to be a three liter twin scroll turbocharged V6, putting out 349 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, sent to all four wheels through Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. That power is sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will, of course, be testing out in a little bit here. Top speed comes in at 155 miles per hour, zero to 60. Audi puts it at 4.4 seconds. But you guys know Audi always tends to under-promise and over-deliver. So Car and Driver actually recently put it at 4.3 seconds. And so go with that one. With MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 27 on the highway, of course, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of acceleration or paddle shifter test, I did want to mention there are, of course, some driving modes. And they're going to be labeled drive select. And those buttons are located just underneath of the climate control settings there. But it will give you several different driving modes to choose from, including comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. All of those adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, steering sensitivity, and actually the damper control as well. That is one that is not always adjusted on other vehicles out there, but not every vehicle has an adaptive suspension. So we'll of course get more into that later. But what do you say? Let's just go ahead and put it on dynamic driving mode here. What I'm going to do now to test out the paddle shifters, I'm simply gonna bump the shifter back one more time. That is gonna give me full manual shifting mode here. What do you say? Let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, let's get set up from a stance still and here we go yeah definitely instantaneous paddle shifters I always remember that with Audi though their paddle shifters are ridiculously quick so if you did want to use them it's worth it actually in the Audi S4 because they do react super quickly so that is definitely a huge plus in my books but to go ahead and take it out of that manual shift mode again slide the shifter all the way to the back that is gonna give full control back to the S4 and do believe you guys know what we have to do next now let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration test here and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2020 Audi S4 here up to speed all right you guys once again from a standstill three two one go oh my goodness <laughs> You know what's funny, you guys? I don't know why. Maybe it's the Quattro all-wheel drive system, but this thing feels faster than my 2019 Ford Mustang GT that supposedly hit 60 in 3.9 seconds. Perhaps it's because the power is grounded. It's sent to the ground. There's no spinning whatsoever. And that's why this acceleration is absolutely breathtaking. You can feel it in the pit of your stomach, and that's a good thing. Absolutely wonderful acceleration for the 2020 Audi S4, without a doubt. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13 inch ventilated rear discs as far as the braking feel goes let's go ahead and slow down for this turn braking feels amazing quite honestly certainly no brake pedal delay a very firm braking feel which i like in a car like the audi s4 so wonderful braking feel it goes very well with this car touching on suspension and handling both in the front and the back you have a five link front and rear independent suspension 
along, of course, with that adaptive damping system. And so that really is gonna give you the best of both worlds. It's not only gonna absorb a lot of the road's imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but when you're going around turns a little faster, it is gonna tighten up the suspension also, giving you a little better handling. Again, hence the term best of both worlds. And again, that is actually going to adjust based on your driving mode as well. That is what I was mentioning earlier to you guys. That dynamic driving mode is going to firm up that adaptive suspension, giving a little better handling around the back roads. That's a plus. Too. Do you want to mention in addition to that though, there is a sport package that adds an additional $2,500, but that's actually going to adjust the suspension a little bit too, giving you a sport rear differential, which uses torque vectoring to change the torque distribution to the rear axle from side to side. So that's going to give you a little better handling, also a little better acceleration at that. Also go along with that package, red brake calipers as well. And in addition to that, there is a dynamic steering package that adds $1,150 to the price, but overall, as far as steering feel goes, eh, I wouldn't have minded a bit heavier of a steering feel, especially for the car like the Audi S4, but having said that, it's perfectly fine. It's not quite as heavy as a lot of the other cars in its segment. It's not quite as heavy, of course, as my 2019 Ford Mustang GT, but this is more of a luxury sports car, I guess you could say. So it is basically right on point for what it is, I guess. But as far as ride quality goes, that's been perfectly fine my short test drive today. And again, that's partly due in fact, because we do have that adaptive damping suspension and that's always going to help with ride quality so that's a huge plus cabin noise is perfectly fine and really the only exterior noise that i'm absolutely loving is that exhaust note and we will do an exhaust clip in a little bit here because there is some crackle i've noticed in the s4 so that's a huge plus but really the exhaust note is all i'm really getting coming into the cabin so there's no pronounced wind noise i mean you're always going to get a little bit of wind noise but it's definitely nothing to worry about there it's just that exhaust note which i absolutely love that is a good thing you guys a part of what's absorbing that exterior wind noise actually is there are dual pane acoustic front side glass for the windows if you go with the prestige trim level at least so that's going to absorb a lot of that hence a little bit quieter of a ride so that's a plus there too but touching on visibility a few things here first off i'm looking at a frameless rear view mirror a very high-end clean look if you will so i do like that but as far as visibility goes really with any sedan especially the s4 you're going to be able to see perfectly fine out the back as i am showing you guys right now so certainly no issues whatsoever with visibility there rain sensing windshield wipers also coming standard on all trim levels meaning when the s4 detects any kind of rainfall or mist the windshield wipers will turn on automatically for you there one less thing you have to worry about with that so you can better focus more of your attention on enjoying the drive in this very enjoyable car and last thing i wanted to mention there is a head-up display coming standard with the prestige trim level and that of course is going to display things like your speed limit how fast you were currently going and some safety features up on that windshield so again you can better focus on more enjoying the drive so that is a huge plus as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful Daytona Gray Pearl 2020 Audi S4. All right, and here she is, you guys, completely refreshed for the 2020 model year. Let's go ahead and start up front. New headlight design is going to come in the 2020 Audi S4 and really the A4 too, of course, but LED headlights coming standard on all trim levels that will, of course, come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they are going to turn on automatically for you there, so you never have to worry about that. LED signature daytime running lights also coming standard, and if you were to go with that prestige trim level, that is going to add matrix led headlights essentially super bright kind of like bmw laser lights so it's essentially just the very brightest the very most wattage allowed by law more or less and that prestige trim is also going to add on top of that headlight washers as well then taking a look in the middle of it all audi single frame front grille a new grille design for 2020 you guys probably already can tell that honeycomb design of course with that signature s4 badging that is all pretty standard found in previous years and then looking down at the corners there are some air ducts of course directing air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics there but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one chrome window surrounds coming standard black window surrounds coming with a black optic package that goes for fourteen hundred dollars by the way if you're interested and that package is also going to add gloss black side mirrors 
in addition to that as well, of course. But aluminum side mirror housings coming standard with the S4, and they will be power adjustable heated side mirrors with LED integrated turd signals. And if you were to go with the Premium Plus or Prestige, you will actually get memory settings for those side mirrors as well. Then take a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch five spoke alloy wheels coming standard for all trim levels, 19 inch V spoke alloy wheels coming standard with the black optic package. So a little different wheel setup. Again, if you were to go with that black optic package. And take a look at the back of this one. Rear spoiler coming standard for all trim levels. There is a new taillight design for 2020. LED taillights, by the way, that comes standard for all trim levels. Of course, S4 badging located in the lower left-hand corner of that rear trunk. And there is some aluminum trim found kind of close to the rear diffuser near the bottom that kind of ties in with the aluminum trim on the side. So that's a good look to it. Black finish, actually, if you were to go with the black optic package where you're currently looking at that aluminum trim. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with quad bright tips. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button, of course, on the key fob. Simply press that button twice to go ahead and open that rear trunk. Also, a button on the driver's side door, and there's a button, of course, on the trunk itself. So, any of those ways are perfectly fine. And I should also mention there is a hands free trunk release if you were to go with the Premium Plus or Prestige trim level. So, that's going to be there for you, too. Once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at an even 12 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there's rear seats do fold down. There is a 40-20-40 split, giving you a ton of additional space back there if you needed it. Then make your way up to the rear legroom. That is gonna come in at 35.7 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Did want to also mention for those rear passengers, they will find a rear center armrest with cup holders. There is rear ventilation back there as well. And there are rear side window sunshades if you were to go with what's called a warm weather package that adds $650. So we don't have those today, of course, but they are going to be there for you if you wanted them. And of course, as rear passengers do have a couple USB charging ports as well. But then make your way to the front seats. Leather Alcantara surfaces come as the standard setup, I should say. That's for all trim levels. Diamond pattern stitching, of course. That is what you're currently looking at right now with some S embossing towards the top portion of the front seat. 12-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar coming standard. And they do come with pneumatic side bolsters, a massage function, which I've pretty much had on the whole drive today. So that has definitely been quite nice, especially if you have a bad back. That's kind of cool driving home, getting a massage on your way home from work. But heated front seats coming standard, ventilated front seats coming with that warm weather package that gives you the rear side window sunshades. And overall, when you factor in the massaging seats, definitely a nice place to be in the front. I will say that. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for all trim levels. You do have the S badging at the bottom portion of the steering wheel. And it is a flat bottom, by the way. I do love that. Also like the perforated leather grips on the left and right hand side of the steering wheel. Definitely makes me feel more in control. So I do like that design element to it. But overall, let's now go ahead and make our way to the startup. Actually, let me start by showing you guys the key. You do have your S logo on the one side. And when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and again, that button up pop the rear hatch but it is of course all keyless entry so all I am going to do simply keep the key in my pocket walk up to the S4 put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button which is located directly in front of the cup holders there and so but once started up first question everybody always asks me I'm just going to get it out of the way that Audi virtual cockpit you can get with the premium plus and the prestige trim level. So that of course is what you were looking at right now. Essentially what that is, is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, which can be configured by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side. And really the best button to control that is the view button. That's gonna toggle between whether you want a larger gauge setup or a smaller gauge setup. And that gives you a ton of things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. Also some Bluetooth information. And there's also going to be, if you get a factory navigation system paired up with the S4, the map is going to be 
displayed up on that digital gauge setup. So that is a huge plus, although we don't have that today, but on previous Audis that I have reviewed, that is probably the best part, quite honestly, if you were to get the factory navigation system at least. But overall, if you keep hitting that view button, the gauges are gonna get smaller and larger. So really, even to this day, Audi's had this for quite a while, but even to this day, Audi's virtual cockpit is still the one to beat, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Power sunroof coming standard on all trim levels. Black cloth headliner. And although the black cloth headliner is pretty darn cool, I wouldn't have minded seeing a microfiber suede headliner perhaps in the future. But I don't know. That's just my personal preference. But three zone climate control coming standard on all trims. LED interior lighting, also a huge plus brushed aluminum interior accents with a little bit of carbon fiber accents too I'm seeing so that is definitely a huge win in my book there is carbon fiber accents and by the way this is authentic carbon fiber a lot of other manufacturers will actually use plastic to imitate the look of carbon fiber but this is actually the real thing in the S4 you have that on the doors just underneath all of the air vents and also kind of in the center display around the shifter as well so I do love that and remember I was mentioning to you guys the microfiber suede that is actually found on the door so I would have loved if they had brought that up to the headliner, but I do love that it's on the doors. I'll give it that. Stainless steel foot pedals, illuminated aluminum door inlays. That is definitely a huge plus as well. Again, like I mentioned earlier to you guys, the frameless rear view mirror, a very clean look there with a the compass in the upper right hand corner. Just in front of the cup holders, you have a USB charging port, 12 volt power outlet course dual cup holders you have a little storage area just in front of the shifter there with a the rubberized bottom so things don't slide around as much just behind the shifter electromechanical parking brake you actually have a little dial where you can control the volume and tune settings of what is on that infotainment screen which i will get to in a second here just behind that little tune button you do have what i believe is a key holder it fits this audi key perfectly and when you open up the center armrest we'll actually find a wireless phone charger and another phone charger port just behind that wireless phone charger. So it's a little bit of something for everybody, I guess. But now let's now get to one of the biggest differences between the 2020 and 2019 S4 being the tech display. It is a 10.1 inch color touchscreen display, Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay coming standard for all trim levels, factory navigation system coming with the prestige trim level. However, it is optional for the premium plus. It goes for $1,600 if you wanted to go that route, but really is a big benefit in any Audi just because you can get that displayed up on the digital gauges, which I think is the coolest thing ever. But anyways, you could check out your radio settings up on that screen as well, of course. By the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will get 10 speakers with 180 watts for the premium and premium plus trim levels and a 19 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system with 755 watts for the premium. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one. That is new from San Holo, you guys. Just came out like two weeks ago. It's called Honest. It's a freaking awesome song, but dang, that was a ton of bass. Very impressed there. Well done, Audi. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the S4 in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by mentioning, although it hasn't been tested for the 2020 model year yet, but the 2019 Audi A4 and S4 was an IIHS top safety pick. So it's got that going for it more than like for 2020, of course, as well. Front side, side curtain airbags will come standard. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also back there, rear child door locks. There's a tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard Audi PreSense Basic and Audi PreSense City. And if you were to go with a driver assistance package that goes for $1,500 that is going to give you adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist and lane keep assist as well. And I did want to also mention there are rear side airbags available in the back for $350 if you wanted to go that route too. But that about rounds out this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. <laughs>